Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Catherine, and I have for you today a Glossy Box unboxing. Now, I would say it is my first Glossy Box unboxing because if everything goes right, it will be actually the first Glossy Box unboxing, that's been said too much now, that I will be posting. I just did a couple of hours ago and then I went out and ran a couple errands and when I got back, I had my second box. I just did an unboxing of what I thought was going to be my April glossy box, but it wasn't. It was my March glossy, glossy box. So I'm thinking this is my April glossy box. Now I'm gonna post this first because you guys still have a chance of getting out there and purchasing it if, it, if there's something in it you like, I believe. And I will post my link, my link below so it, you can get 20% off if there's anything about this that you would like to order. What happened with me is through my subscription addiction, I found a coupon. The coupon was for three months. If you bought three months worth, instead of being $21 a month like it normally is, it took it down to about $13 a month. And I figured that was a great way to get on. I like to give boxes the three month trial and see if I liked it before I decided whether to go forward with it. So I got two tracking numbers from them within like a day. And because of the way they were sent, I thought that the box that I just unboxed a couple of hours ago was going to be my April box and that this one was actually my March box. Now, to my surprise, the other one was my March box. So I'm hoping this is my April box. Is that confusing enough? You probably don't even care about all of that information. So let us move forward into what I hope is my April glossy box. So the March box that I just unboxed had some really nice products in it. Most of which I am, because of their coloring or my sensitivities, I'm going, I've added to my giveaway, which I am still working on. Like I said in that video, you guys are so fantastic that I went in no time from my 230s to now I'm in like my 280s and I was trying to do a quarter K giveaway, which would have been 250, but I'm still trying to gather things for it. So it's going to be a little longer. So it might have to be like a third K giveaway, but we're going to be doing it soon, regardless of what the number is. So yes, I believe that this is the April box. So I got them in order. I just thought that I was getting them out of order. So good for Glossy Box. They knew more about their job than me. <laughs> Go figure. This is another lovely Glossy Box. It's different from the normal pink one that they do because I believe this is a month of green products, but Glossy and it's a nice firm. I miss these so much with the Allure boxes, although this is even better because it's bigger and I use them to store all of my samples in so that I can separate them and for giveaways and I just love these boxes. So the first thing that we received is a $100 wine voucher from nakedwines.com, so that's interesting. But let's get into the box and see what is in here. So I've just taken the lid off, and that's the inside. I love that it's always tied up like a little gift, so you're getting something special. Oh look, more wine. This one is a $50 wine voucher from Bright Cellars. I mean, I think that they can sense the day I've had with this whole which glossy box in my unboxing situation. They want me to have some nice wine. I can fully appreciate that. Oh look, the top of the box has, it's almost like a Mad Libs. On the very top of the box, we have our pamphlet that will let us know what's inside. Let me go ahead and open that up without attempting to look too much at it. Get my glasses ready because you know. Let's get into this box. And I opened it up and that's what I see. All kinds of little goodies. And let's just dig right in. This is, oh, I'm gonna assume these are together. It is the John Masters Organic Shampoo and Conditioner. Let's put my glasses on. The shampoo is lavender rosemary, while the conditioner is citrus and neroli. And they're little two ounce, perfect travel size bottles. It says it's for normal hair with no silicone. John Masters Organic Citrus and Neroli Conditioner will add some extra needed boost to your wash and morning routine. So that's interesting. Let's see if I can, not sealed. That smells very nice. It smells like lavender and rosemary, just like it says. Oddly enough, the conditioner is sealed. Can't stop me. Let's get in there anyway.
That's a very subtle citrus scent. I mean, very subtle. I almost, if I'd had my eyes closed and somebody had tested me, I wouldn't have even sworn I could smell it. So those are great for travel. So next we have the Derma E Essentials Overnight Peel Alpha Hydroxy Acids. Well, as you might imagine, the words that are coming out of my mouth next, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the giveaway. Anything that is vitamin C or peel, even some a mostly AHAs, my skin is just so sensitive that it does not recover from this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in the giveaway. Oh, just for the record, this says that the full size value on the John Masters Organics would have been 19 and that that would be eight ounces. So we got two, so we got a quarter of that. So it's just under $5 for what we got. Okay, so it says about the Derma E, this peel will take over the night shift and even out your skin's complexion while you're sound asleep. So that's interesting. And it says that, that a full size is two ounces and we got a quarter of an ounce and that it would be $18.99. Mm, that's bigger math. So what does that make it like about $2.25? So it's still worth trying. So next we have two of the matching. They must have decided one was too small. Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. This is 0 0.17 fluid ounces or 5 ml. Like I said, they gave you two of the exact same thing. And this says that it is the Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. Have an instant glowing skin now and later with this pomegranate infused hydrator from Kiehl's. So that's very interesting. It is this moisturizer is a great subtle glow for a bare-faced look. We also recommend wearing it under foundation for a luminous finish. And it says that the full size is 50 ml and it would be $38. And that these are each 5 ml, so that, that means we ended up with 10 ml. So that is one-fifth, so one-fifth of 38. So it says that these two little fellas are still valued at more than $7 together. Interesting. Next, we have the Plumper Lip Balm by Bybi, B Y B I, and it is 0.35 ounces. And it's just a little tube. It's just, it's not a slant topped lip thing or anything, it's just a little tube. I'm squeezing really hard. It's just, you know. Oof, you know how this is going to end. There's no... I can't get it out. That's what she said. There we go. So, I finally... You see how hard that is? It's just... So, it's just a lip balm. I guess I should read about this before I start putting it on my face. It says... All of those languages are not English. Bybee Lip Plumper does it all in a sugarcane eco-friendly tube and 100% natural ingredients. For a super moisturized, effortless look, we suggest swiping the lip product over a matte lip color for extra hydration and shine. Do I have a matte lip color? Oh, I don't know, let's just do it. Mm. That few seconds that I had it in my finger, it had turned, it had started turning to oil. It's very minty. I don't feel any tingle or burn for a plumper. I'm telling my shiny now. Oh, there is a little more mintiness. Like I said, there's no real tingle or burn, but I can feel the minty of it. And it says that it is that is a full-sized product and it is a $14 value. That is interesting that that is a $14 value and it doesn't even have like a slant top for the lip or anything you have to. And last but not least, I have a Juice Beauty Fido Pigments Cream Shadow Stick. My color is What's with the names, people? Can you just like, tool? No, this is Mist Bruyard Bruyard. <sighs> you ever have those days where you think, you know, today, might, today may not be the day that I should be taping. It's a very light color. In person, it looks kind of golden. It's more difficult to tell. It is very light. I would say you would use it like in a inner corner or maybe you could probably even use it at your brow. It's, can I even get you that? It is right here. I don't even 
it's so light I don't even think you I don't even know that you can see it on my skin but it's nice and shiny it would be a very subtle like I said inner corner or I don't think I don't know that if you put this all over your lid you would even see it but let's see what they say about it Fido pigments cream shadow stick is a full-size value at $22 and it says an eyeshadow with built-in anti-aging ingredients we expected nothing less from Juice Beauty's cream eyeshadow stick line. Juice Beauty practices farm-to-table ethics, meaning they own the very farms their products ingredients are sourced from to ensure an organic composition of clean beauty products that are great for your skin. So that is very cool. So that is a $22 value. Like I said, it'll be great for your inner eye. I've had it on for a while. Yeah, it blends out really. I mean, you know, you could almost use it for highlighter. I mean, it's just, it's just some shine. So I got the John Masters shampoos, that lovely lip plumper, the Derma E Overnight AHA Peel, the Two Little Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrators, and the Juice Beauty Stick. So that is my first, so that is my second, technically, glossy box. I like it. Like I said, I only spent $13 per box. So for me, it's a bargain. Like any one of those things is pretty much more than $13, except for maybe the shampoo and conditioner. But I will use the lip. I will use, I will try the Kiehl's because I used to love all of the Kiehl products. You know, when I had sensitive skin and I was searching around and they were, you know, apothecary related, that's how they had started. I used a lot of their products and I just, you know, you get away from it because as I said in my empties video, if you watch that, I wander, you know, I use stuff and I get bored and I move on. And the Juice Beauty, I will try. I will probably try it as a shadow and as a highlighter and I will find a place to use it because it is a very pretty blendable shine. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put up more videos. So do you think Glossy Box is worth keeping? In theory, I have one more box coming. So I've had the March and the April within like two hours of each other. And in theory, I will get the May box. And then I can decide if it's something I want to continue for $21 a month. I'm on the fence about it. I think, I suspect it's probably one of those boxes that you either love or you don't. I think the value of the box, they make sure that it's there. You certainly get your money's worth back. It's just a matter of whether the products are a good fit for you. And I had a lot of giveaways in the March. I'm giving away most of the March box, but I'm trying most of the April box. So I guess I'll let me swing the pendulum in whichever direction I decide to go. But like I said, for 13 bucks, you can't lose. So I've put the link below for Glossy Box if you have any interest and you get 20% off. So feel free to use that if you'd like. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Bye.